The peace of the Lord be with you all. Christian greetings to you, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Leeward Island District devotional for today. I am Bernard Archibald of the Nevis Circuit. Let us worship God together as we join in the singing of the hymn, Man of Sorrows, What a Name. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we gather before you this morning, we invite your presence into our midst. We come to seek your wisdom, guidance, and strength for the day ahead. Lord, we acknowledge that you are the source of our light and truth. We ask you to shine your light upon our hearts and minds as we delve into your word and engage in our morning devotions. Open our eyes to see the wonders of your love and grace and enlighten our understanding that we may comprehend your teachings and apply them to our lives. Father, help us to set aside any distractions or worries that might hinder our time with you. Grant us a sense of peace and stillness so that we may fully experience your presence and hear your gentle whispers. May our hearts be receptive to your word and may it transform us from inside out. We also lift up our needs and concerns before you, knowing that you are a loving and caring God. We pray for strength to face any challenges that may come our way today. Grant us discernment to make wise decisions, compassion to see the needs of others, and courage to step out in faith. Lord, we ask for your blessings upon our loved ones, friends, and colleagues. Protect and guide them throughout this day and surround them with your love and grace. May we be a source of encouragement and support to those around us, reflecting your love and serving as a light in this world. In all things, we surrender ourselves to your will and trust in your plan for our lives. Thank you for the gift 
of this new day and the opportunity it holds. May our morning devotion set the tone for the rest of the day, allowing your presence to illuminate our path. We pray all these things in your precious name of Jesus. Amen. Our text this morning comes from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 15, verses 12 to 17. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call your servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appoint you to go and be a food, food that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. This week we will be concentrating on the passage of scripture just read. Our overreaching theme is no greater love than this. However, I have created a sub theme for us this morning, which is entitled, Love Each Other. In these verses, Jesus is speaking to his disciples and he tells them to love one another just as he has loved them. He emphasized that love for others should be selfless and sacrificial, just as he demonstrated to his own life and actions. Jesus also called his disciples not just servants, but friends, revealing the loving and intimate nature of their relationship. He shared with them everything he learned from his father. He further explained that they did not choose him, but he chose them to be a fruit, which ought to have lasting impact in this world. Additionally, Jesus encouraged his disciples to abide in love by obeying his commandments. And he reminded them that they are not of this world, but chosen to go and be a fruit that will last. His command remains simple, yet profound. Love each other. So my brothers and sisters, we too can be friends of Jesus. One way of being friends of Jesus is to love those we can see and touch our family members, our fellow church members, our friends, our co-workers, our neighbors, all we come in contact with from day to day. Let us love each other as Jesus loves us, and he loves us enough to give his life for us. In a powerful statement, he declares that the greatest love of, he declares that the greatest act of love is to lay down one life for friends. We may not have to die for someone, but there are other ways to practice sacrificial love. Here are some examples, listening, helping, encouraging, giving. As we travel into this Lenten season and for the rest of your life, think of someone in particular who needs this kind of love. Give all the love you can and then give a little more. Amen. Let us pray. God of love, God of truth, help us to effectively express our love for one another. Enable us to use the words that really speak to our loved ones and that are meaningful to them. Give each of us an understanding of the other's love language. Whether words of affirmation, helping them in some practical way, gives quality time or even touch. Give us insight into how to express affection and how others des desire to express to them. Help us to learn how to make each other feel loved and appreciated. To Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our closing hymn, they'll know we are Christians by our love.
brothers and sisters, let us receive the benediction. Now be the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of sheep, through the blood of our everlasting covenant, make us perfect in every good work, to do his will, working in us, that which is well-pleasing in God's sight, to Jesus Christ, who reigns in glory forever and ever. Amen.